I am here today, and the content that I will be testifying to all of you is what I have seen, what I have heard, and what I have been commanded to speak from Jesus. Halo semuanya, kali ini saya akan menyajikan video tentang model pengkultusan yang ada di sekte dari Korea Selatan. Jadi pengkultusan yang ada atau terjadi di sekte-sekte atau cult dari Korea itu polanya sama, yaitu dimulai dari klaim dari leader atau dari pemimpinnya bahwa dia mendapatkan satu revelation, satu wahyu khusus dari Tuhan dan sekaligus ada perintah khusus yang dia minta para pengikutnya itu harus tunduk atau harus follow, harus mengikutinya tanpa babi bu atau tanpa banyak tanya lagi. Mau JMS atau Sinchionji itu sama aja. What I've heard and seen and have been commanded by Jesus to speak. But I am not just a general pastor. Just like what was spoken before. I am here to testify to the words of Jesus. And not only that, but once Jesus fulfills his promises, he desires to make that known to all churches, and I am a messenger sent to testify on behalf of that. I'm truly someone who does not have anything to boast about. But I am someone who has seen and heard the events of Revelation. I was even commanded by Christ to tell them, tell everyone, whether they listen or whether they fail to listen. Which is why I'm speaking to you today. Sekalian Anda tonton juga segala pujian demi pujian yang bombastis yang ditujukan kepada leader dari Sinchionji ini. Menariknya juga akan terjawab hubungan atau relasi antara IWPG, IWPG dengan Sinchionji. Nah, ibaratnya IWPG ini menjadi marketingnya dari Limanhi sendiri. Atau dengan kata lain menjadi corongnya dari Sinchionji. Yuk, simak sama-sama video ini. Religion is a key agenda of the Warp Summit. It is because the religious world is one of the biggest building blocks for the world of peace and the cessation of war. All of us here have acknowledged Chairman Man Hee Lee of HWPL that the work he is doing is the answer for peace and that he is a great man leading mankind to salvation. I don't think I need to plead for action anymore. But I would like to share a few things on what kind of person Mr. Lee is. Peace Messenger Mr. Man He Lee, Chairman of HWPL, was born of the light of heaven in the Far East. He went up to heaven and received orders from heaven. He received the hidden manna, the white stone, and the scepter. He is the one who works with the open scroll he received, the only light of the East. This is a man who sacrificed everything, his whole life to bring life and to fight wars and the evil in our world. All the persecution and false accusations did not stop him, and he overcame all hardships to pass on peace. The answer for peace that Mr. Lee gives is the truth. The truth is the food of life for everyone across time. Leaders of religions, let us learn the will of the Creator the source of peace from the peace messenger, Mr. Man He Lee of HWPL. Our efforts for the Alliance of Religion have been consistent since the 2014 Warp Summit. As all of you have told us, the Warp Office is bringing the religious community together and tearing down the wall of bias. Leaders of the religious community let us join as one through peace and return religion to its original owner, God. 
world peace starts from the alliance of religions. And you who promote heavenly peace alongside Mr. Lee are the light of our time. If you are in darkness, the future of mankind is dark. Darkness can never overcome light. Let us become the messengers of light, messengers of peace, and give a peaceful world as a legacy to our future generations. Thank you. God, who is the very source of peace, Mr. Mon Hee Lee, who brings the answer for peace, and IWPG and IPYG, which are the ingredients for peace. Because Mr. Lee has been led by the heavens throughout his days, his yearning for peace moved the heavens and led to the declaration of world peace. When light meets light, there is victory. We are one! Because Mr. Lee has given his whole life for the work of peace, the young generation named him the Father of Peace. The former and current heads of state call him the President of Heaven who promotes heavenly culture. NGO leaders at the UN recognize Mr. Lee as a leader, not of the UN on the earth, but of the heavenly culture of peace. So Iwe Pegeng gak bisa menyembunyikan identitasnya dari Shin Chionji atau dari Liman Hee. Iwe Pegge itu ibarat menjadi PR alias marketingnya Shin Chionji AK HWPL. Memang organisasi itu udah jelas dibawa dari HWPL atau Shin Chionji dan dikontrol oleh Liman Hee sendiri. Makanya kalau ada tawaran kerjasama dari Iwe Pegge ke Uni Uni atau perguruan tinggi yang ada di Indonesia, pertanyaannya, Apakah mau kerjasama dengan cult atau sekte Korea ini? Coba pikir-pikir dulu deh. Bagi yang sudah terlanjur bekerja sama, ya harus di-stop dong. Jangan eman-eman gitu. Apa sudah kadung atau terlanjur? So, waspada bagi yang belum. Oke, okay, thanks for watching. God bless.